hello everyone welcome to the engineering projects.com my previous tutorial is about how to calculate the values of the trigonometric functions in matlab using editor and now my this tutorial is about how to generate the simple sinusoidal signal in matlab using editor so first of all open your matlab software and go to the top left corner of this window and open the new script and here you can see I'm going to define the complete duration from 0 to 1 with the steps of 0 0.01 and here I'm going to set the frequency of the sinusoidal signal as 10 Hertz and here in the form of X I'm going to define the sinusoidal, the sinusoidal signal as sine 2 pi f dot steric t you <coughs> while using the complete duration you must have to put the dot before the steric otherwise the result cannot be obtained in a better way so now the signal has been generated now we need to plot the signal i'm going to plot the signal across the time duration t so now run this program save the file at the destination wherever you, wherever you want i'm going to save this file on my desktop now you can see the signal generated using the time duration t and the frequency 10 hertz now let us observe the results by reducing the frequency of the signal i'm going to change the frequency of the signal from 10 hertz to the 5 hertz and now run the program again you can see the width of the signal has been increased so by comparing the two signals the previous one and the newer one we can conclude that the frequency is inversely proportional to the width of the signal that means smaller the frequency larger will be the width of the signal so that's all from the tutorial how to generate the simple sinusoidal signal in the matlab using editor in my upcoming video tutorial i will tell you that how to change the properties of the figure and how to change the properties of the signal generated in the matlab using editor so till then take care bye bye